What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And one of today's Red Dead online challenges is to find vanilla flowers. And I know this is going to be kind of confusing when you look at this, but these arrows are pointing to all the locations that you can find vanilla flowers in. Now these will be just one single plant on the side of a tree, so it's not going to be like any other plants that you find in game. There's just like a clump of three or four together. You're going to have to go to several different locations to be able to find all five. Now, the only place you can find on it, of course, is down here in the swamp above St. Denis. Of course, we're going to go to the R right here in Marsh. This is the first location that you can find a vanilla flower right here on this tree. And when you get right here to this R, you'll see this tree, and it'll be very easy to find. Just turn on your eagle vision, and you'll be able to see these glowing on the side of the tree. The next location we're going to go to is right over here between, you kind of can see this little two land masses here. It's like two different looking circles that are kind of met together. There'll be another tree there with a... Uh, vanilla flower on it as well also guys make sure that you are uh, having some kind of weapon with you uh, whether it be a rifle or whatever but there's a lot of alligators down here and especially if you're down here like myself at night it can be very dangerous in this area so make sure you're bringing that rifle with you because I had to kill several alligators to get to some of these trees to be able to find these flowers now the next location we're gonna go is not far at all from where we are located right now just right over on the road Sometimes if you keep your eagle vision up, especially at nighttime, you can see these flowers kind of glowing, you know, 10, 15 feet away. Some of them are, are somewhat close together, but they're not just sitting right on top of each other. So keep that in mind as well. Now, once you find all five, there are some other locations, like at the start of that uh, video that I did show, some that are all far or further down on, on the map than right here in the marsh. But the marsh, in my opinion, is the best location to find these in. Next place we're going to go is just right down the road once again from where we just were, as you can see there on the map, and there will be another plant here as well. Then we'll have one more spot to go to to be able to get all five, and this is going to be a little bit further away. You're going to kind of see that I'm going to have to go down the road just a bit to this little, it's almost like a little side island looking piece of land that kind of sticks out here into the water, and that is where the last plant is located. And last but not least, guys, like I said, if you cannot find all of these, you can go down just a little bit further below the LaGrasse kind of water area right there. And there's some more of these plants there, but you should be able to find all five here in this area. Like I said, if you cannot, just go down just a little bit further and you'll be able to find some more. Just always keep your eagle vision up and be careful out here. And of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.